Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day three of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Six sack conversion, I think. Uh, yeah, let's see what what, uh, what this is about. So I'm a little bit later today. I'm feeling a little bit tired and nothing well, to be honest. So I may not elaborate on it that much. But let's see what this is all about. Okay, so the string PayPal, whatever... PayPal is hiring? Okay. Well, it's written in a six sack pattern on a given number of rows like this. Okay. And then you kind of combine it together. Uh, kind of weird, isn't it? So we want P A Y P A O. How do they. What is a six sack? Oh, I see. I guess the four. The number of rows for a version is a lot straight. Well, more illustrative. Okay. Mm, I think the two ways to think about this. I think if you see this on an interview, they probably want. Well, like I've seen a not this particular problem, but a variation of something like this, where basically you have to do the math and then calculate it, or in way um, one at a time. Meaning that. Um. Basically, you have to keep track of all the indexes and try to figure out which one goes to which one. And that's kind of hard, but possible. Um, otherwise, you, you the other way to do it is by simulation, which is not quite the, the best way to do it. But um, yeah. But the way that I'm going to do it is just by simulation. I think the, the more straightforward way, and I think that, you know, looking at it like this, you know, let's just, it, uh, oops. looking at it like this, it is very confusing and kind of hard to get right for sure. But, but the way that I would think about it is instead of looking at it like this, look at it like this. So you have P in the middle, but then L move to the left and then you have I, right? So then now for, now instead of like this six saggy thing, now you just go up, down, up, down, up, down, right? So of course, then that means that every fourth character is on the other one, but and we can probably do the math on this one, but uh, but and maybe if I had done, you know, started this problem earlier, that's what I would have done. But I'm really tired, so let, let's just simulate this instead. So basically, what I would have is just an a um an array with number of rows so you have just like rows is equal to something like da, 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 four da, 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 in number of rows right and then now you have four i in range of s right uh, uh and maybe even c in s it doesn't matter even, uh, that was awkward anyway but maybe like um row, row is equal to zero right and then now um, and then maybe like a direction or something like this is you go to one for incrementing and then now we go rows of row um, we append C and then we'll add by add to direction and then there are only two things right which is that if added it if row is you can probably do it in either way but if row is uh, you go to number of rows, then direction, you know, uh, uh, yeah. If row is equal to zero or this, then we just flip the direction. I think this is probably okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we can do something like, and then now for row in rows, um, we want to, do, 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 we want to join them. Um, yeah, so here we can do something like this. As an array, right? And then now we can join it, join it again with the answer. Someone like that should be okay. Uh, hmm. Did I mess this up? Row zero, one. Oh, 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 because this goes to number of rows where this should be number of rows minus one. Okay. Because we're zero indexed. Um, so this looks good for these three. So let's give it submit. Oh, no. I messed it for. Isn't that one of the inputs? Hmm. <clears throat> How'd they copy this? That's what I'm trying to do. I guess I could just type it. 
Hmm. But yeah, but basically, I knew that one was gonna always be an issue. Well, I didn't know, no, but I I had a feeling that I didn't have to. But then I, when I saw this work for this, I guess it was okay. But I think it was because of whatever. So yeah, I don't know. Let's give a submit again. And yeah, that was the only case. Hmm. Now, 1039 streak, pretty straightforward. How did I did it before? This is the same idea, except for I, I did string incrementation, and that's why it's that much slower. Uh, or that's why I time limited. And then I converted to. I don't know, I didn't. I don't know what happened there, but. Hmm. But yeah, uh, this is going to be linear time, linear space, because each character gets appended to one row once, and then the second time here, and then maybe the third time here. So three operations per character. So yeah, linear time, linear space. I, I think you can do it with even less space, but it's still going to be linear space because that's the size of the size of the output, right? So yeah, um, that's all I have for today. It's a little bit short. I'm a little bit tired. So hope y'all have a good day. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.